When is density not equal to mass over volume? Let's answer this by looking at this Cambridge admission question. We're given that the density of a sphere rho varies away from its center with the following expression, where x is the distance from the center and r is the radius of the sphere. We need to find the total mass. Now in these problems in which the density is not a constant, it is always a great idea to consider a small mass dm. Well, what will that be equal to? Generally, it's equal to density times volume, but in this case, it will be equal to the density multiplied by the infinitesimal volume. So this will be given by r naught one minus x over 2r. Now the infinitesimal volume, you can think of it as dv, is actually equal to a tiny surface area, which I'm going to call 4 pi x squared. That's also given in the question and it's generally a great idea to use any expressions that are given to us. And then we're going to be multiplying that by an infinitesimal length, which is dx. And now to find the mass, I can use one of my favorite things ever, and that that is to integrate. So I'm going to say that the total mass m is the integral of this entire expression, let's say from 0 to position r. Okay, well first of all I'm going to bring this, uh, these terms across here, what I'm going to get? 4 pi r naught and um, then I'm going to bring this x squared inside here, so I'm going to get x squared take away x cubed divided by 2r. I'm going to be integrating that with respect to x. So let's integrate. My total mass will be 4 pi r naught. This thing is a constant, so I can just take that outside of the integral sign. Now, um, x squared is going to give me x cubed over 3. Then I'm going to take away uh, x to the power of 4. 4 uh, divided by 4 times 2r and this integral will be evaluated uh, between 0 and r. So what are we going to be left with? We're going to be left with 4 pi r naught and then we are going to have r cubed divided by 3 take away r to the power of 4 divided by 4 times 2 just gives me 8r. And now we can also do my second favorite thing ever and that is to be cancelling out um, terms and equations. So this r here can go and that's going to change that to a cubed. Okay, well what is that going to give me? 4 pi r naught and then I'm going to have r cubed over 3 3 take away r cubed over 8. Let's put those under a common denominator. So what we're left with is 4 pi r naught. Okay, so this fraction I'm going to multiply by 8, this one by 3. Uh, so 8 here and then 3 here with some multiplication signs. So what I'm going to get is 5 r cubed divided by 8 times 3, which is 24. Okay, the 4 is going to cancel with the 24, leaving me a 6. And what I'm left with is 5 over 6 pi r naught r cubed. And the correct answer is B. This technique of integration seems to appear almost every year. And this is precisely why you cannot miss this next video right over here.